The lung from the miner who worked at the coal face shows features of complicated coal workers' pneumoconiosis. Another term used is progressive massive fibrosis. In complicated coal workers' pneumoconiosis, there is a black mass greater than 10 millimeters across. These lesions are progressive hence the term progressive massive fibrosis, and sometimes resemble a lump of coal. This lung mass is a bronchioloalveolar carcinoma. The key to making the diagnosis in this case is by looking at the cells lining the alveolar walls. The tumour cells are columnar and use the alveolar walls as a scaffold to grow along and the tumour is not invading. This lung tumour is a good example of a small cell carcinoma, sometimes known as small cell anaplastic carcinoma or oat cell carcinoma. This is the typical gross appearance of a small cell carcinoma. Uh, these tumours tend to arise at the hilar aspect of the lung. Histologically, the tumour cells are small with hyperchromatic nuclei and scanty amounts of cytoplasm. The diagnosis can be confirmed with neuroendocrine markers, and this is a CD56 that clearly shows positive staining. The section of lung contains an asbestos body. The presence of asbestos bodies is diagnostic of exposure to asbestos. Asbestos bodies are formed when the asbestos fibres become coated in mucopolysaccharide and hemosiderin, which is why they are brown. Serious lung conditions asbestos can cause include mesothelioma, asbestosis and lung cancer. Here in Nottingham, the Boots Company during the Second World War used to make gas masks and these contained blue asbestos or crocodilite. Tragically, some of the ladies who helped make the gas masks were exposed to the asbestos and developed asbestos-related diseases. The incidental finding in the lung from a patient who was in a road traffic accident is a bone marrow embolus. This arteriole is occluded by a piece of bone marrow. Fat embolism and bone marrow embolism occur when there are fractures and bone marrow and fat enter the venous system and embolize particularly to the lungs. In cases such as this where there were multiple fractures, bone marrow and fat emboli are frequently seen.